Hey, I'm Jack Gately, your native Bostonian guide, and today we're going to take a ride on the brand new Green Line extension known as the GLX, starting in Leechmare Station and going all the way to Tufts University. Let's go! Today is the first day the Green Line extension has been open, so when you're crossing the street on Cambridge Street, we need to take a little extra caution because it's somewhat of a construction zone. Watch the crosswalk signs. Uh, once at the station, we had to validate our ticket before we went upstairs. That's important. I already bought a ticket earlier in the day, a one-day pass. So uh, you validate your ticket, and then you go up to the station, which had opened earlier this year in March. It replaced the station, which had been across the street. A short wait for our train, which is powered by overhead electrical wires, and there it is. We're on the brand new train headed towards Medford. So we're getting on here at Leechmere. There's a spur that will take you over to Union Square, but we're taking the main E-line to East Somerville, Gilman Square, Magoon Square, Ball Square, and Medford Tufts. So once you arrive here at the Medford slash Tufts stop, you are right in the middle of Tufts University campus. Everything is just footsteps away. It is fantastic, incredibly convenient if you're going to college here. This station was originally planned to open in 2011, but there are a lot of delays and cost overruns. It was a mitigation for the central artery project where they depressed the central artery uh, in a tunnel and created a beautiful park in downtown Boston. Uh, so there's some TV people here today, and uh, there's a lot of excitement about the brand new subway, or I should say trolley line. But before I got here, I actually got off at Ball Square, which is kind of like a Somerville hidden gem. There's a lot of independent restaurants and stores there. Uh, the vinyl record shop, don't miss it. And I didn't get to Lindell's, the bakery, because they close early on Mondays, unfortunately. But Ball Square is kind of like a miniature data square, but yet to be discovered. Check it out. So I'm going to hop on the trolley here and head into Park Street, or if I used my Boston accent, Park Street, and uh, it should be, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop laughing. Uh, it should be a 16 minute ride to Leechmere and then 10 more minutes to Park Street from there. So this trolley is basically going to make Somerville very, very accessible to Metro Boston and the entire MBTA system. They're expecting that Somerville will now be 85% walkable to a rampant, rapid transit line as compared to 15% before this line opened, if you also include the new Assembly Square line or stop on the Orange Line. So going from 15% to 85% walkable to a rapid transit line in, uh, well, it took only 30 years to build it from when it was originally conceived in 1991. All right, so I made it to park, got the state house right behind me there, and it was a great trip, so, so easy on the new Green Line extension. I think it was like 26 minutes from Medford Tufts down here to Park Street Station. Wicked easy, I recommend it. This is gonna be a huge game changer for Somerville. We'll see how that affects real estate prices, because I think it will, probably already has. But for now, I'm Jack Gately, your native Bostonian guide. See you next time. Bye-bye.